In this very important video on Microsoft Office, particularly the Word and Word Processor, we're going to find out how we can get some style or styles. We're going to work with styles in this video. So here we've got a document with some random text and some random little headings there. And this is like, for example, a main heading. And we've got a couple of places where we've got, for example, like subheadings and so on. So you've probably done this before. I want to make that heading look a lot nicer. So you would select it. You would maybe make it bold. You maybe make change the color, maybe make it a bit bigger. And then you would want to do that to all your main headings. So you could do it manually. Or the other trick you might have learned is if you go and you copy the format painter, which copies it just what it looks like you can then apply it to all of the heading the main headings basically the problem with that is like if i come back later you know what i want to change that heading i want to make it actually underlined then i'm going to go and redo all of them manually and that can take a lot of time okay so that can be a bit problematic so how can we get around that well we can do that by using styles so i'm going to undo everything i've just done i'm going to not do it that way that's a very long way of doing it. i'm actually going to go and do this over here we've got styles and we've got a whole bunch of styles available to us you can see there's a heading one a heading two a whole bunch of different things you've got there. the headings are not just for for the styles aren't just for headings they're for like particular paragraphs or stuff like that you can have all these different styles and if as you can see as i move my mouse over it actually applies that heading so if i select that text and I move my mouse over a, one of the particular styles, it'll apply that style to it. It'll just show me what it looks like, but I have to click on it to actually apply that style. So I want this to be a heading one. So I'm gonna make it a heading one. Boom, there we go. And I want this to be a heading two. So I'm gonna click that to be a heading two. A heading one, sorry. Not a heading two, that's gonna be a heading one, because those are main headings. When we talk about levels, we just, it's not the second heading, it's just that's a main heading. Heading two would be a subheading. So that's also a main heading and then I can come up here and go hey that's also a heading one actually you can use the format painter now as well and go and I'm gonna double click on the format painter because then I can go okay those are subheadings and that's a heading that's a main heading and I can come here that's a main heading and then are there any more I think there are two more that there's a main heading and there's a main heading that's great now I've done all my headings I can click on the format painter fantastic they are all now heading ones Okay, but I, I don't like that how that looks. I liked how it looked originally. Well, now I can just right click on that particular heading and I can modify it. So I'm going to modify it to look the way I want it to look. So I don't want it to be, maybe I want it to be aerial black and I want it to be bold. Um, I don't think, I think aerial black was automatically bold, but let's do it aerial. I want it to be bold. I want it to be underlined and I actually liked the darker shade like that. So I want it to be like that. So there we go. And I can change the format. Okay. So if I click OK, do you notice that they've all changed? There we go. All of them change automatically. So I don't need to go and do them each individually. I can just do it automatically. You can also right click on them and modify. And you can make it so it up, automatically updates every time you make a change. So you can do that as well. So that's a lovely option. And if you want to do something where you... Now if I change, for example, if I want to change that one to red... Do you notice only that one changed to red, not all the others, because I did it over there. I didn't modify the style. Okay, so just remember that. That's what you can do. And if I want to select all of them, I want to go select all of them and maybe delete them or change them or change that particular heading, heading one to a heading two, instead of going to individually selecting all of them, you can actually right click on there and go and select all of them. And now they are all selected. And by doing that, I can now change them to a heading two or a title or whatever I want to do. So those are the benefits of doing that. Now I can do the same thing now with these subheadings. You know, this heading, I want it to be a heading two. And then I'm gonna double click on the format painter and make all of these heading twos. But what happens if I don't like that heading one? I wanna actually make my own particular style. I wanna create my own style. I've got a good style, I can create my own style. Yes, you can. If I come over here to these options, you can actually click on the options available here and you can create a style. So there we go. So we're going to create a particular style. So when I click on create, wherever your text is selected, it's going to obviously apply that new style that you create to that particular text. So let's go create a style. And you can base it off of a particular thing. You can say, give it a name. I'm going to modify it. And we can base it off of a particular style that already exists. So you can make it a title style or a heading style. It's up to you what you want. I'm going to make it a heading two type style. Um, you can give it uh, the style to follow a paragraph. You can give it a particular style that follows it. 
um, you can link it, you can make it a, a character or paragraph, you can do all of these options available to you. I'm going to give it a name, I'm going to call this my, my subheading. I'm going to give it that as my name. So I'm going to call it the subheading style. And I want this one to be, let's say, we're going to make it 14 text. We're going to make it aerial black. And we're going to make it a slightly different shade. Let's make it nice and yellow like that. And you can do other options as well. If you come here to format, you get all these options available. So you could change the language for that particular paragraph, for example. You could change the tabs for that particular section. You can change the paragraph, um, the font. Um, all of these options are available, even the text effects. So, for example, you could say, I want the text effects. If we select the options for text effects, we can say, I want the text outline or the text. Uh, I want there to be a shadow on this particular text. And we can say, oh, go give it a particular color and have a little shadow effect on it. So we could do something like that if we wanted to do. Or we could say, hey, I also want there to be a border around this particular text. So this particular text, we're going to put a border. We're going to make it a slightly blue border. We'll And we'll put the a, a box around the text. And we can maybe make it a bit thicker, actually. Let's make it a bit thicker. So something along those lines. So we want it to look something like that for our subheading. Doesn't look great, but we can do that. So if I click OK, we now have a new heading. If you see everything shifted up, we have this new heading called subheading, which is great because now I can just select this particular text, yeah, and change it to a subheading. And all of these, I can just select them. And go, hey, that's a subheading. I can actually just format painter. That point, I'm actually going to double click on the format painter, and all my subheadings can now become subheadings the way I've defined them and so on. So there we go. So just doing things like that. There we go. And so there we go. I have to find nice little subheadings. So there we go. So by, I've shown you now how you can apply styles. I've also shown you how you can create your own style if you want to create one. So you can just click on these options. There they are. You can also click over there and you get this lovely little option that appears on the side there. And you can you go and apply styles by having them over there in this little box that appears there. And you've got all these options available like create a new style style inspector you can manage your styles you can get more options and so on so there we go so that's basically style so the key here is when you've got nice little headings or you want paragraphs to look a particular way you can create a paragraph style or a heading style and you can specify what it must look like by creating your own one or adjusting one of them that already exists so you want this to be the quote style and you want it to always look like that you can adjust it by right clicking on it and modifying it and that's if you are changing a current one or you can just go and create a new one and then you can specify what this new one must look like okay so that's your different styles now you finally have some style support the channel by subscribing leaving a like leaving a comment and even if you don't want notification just switch the bell notification off but look at our playlists see if they can help you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way